Hi, it's Marcy again with another little video segment on food safety. I hope you enjoy it. All right, now let's look at the chemical sanitization procedures. In chemical sanitization, in an automatic machine, okay, or uh, as the FDA likes to call it, the mechanical dish machine, first thing we're going to do when the dirty dishes come in, we are going to pre-scrape get rid of all the food. We're going to take a sprayer to spray off as much food particle as we can. Then we're going to rack it into the rack and this is going to slide into the machine. The machine uh, has the spray arms on the top and bottom. Those should be checked every day before by the dishwashing person, the staff member, to make sure all the sprayers are working properly, that none of them are clogged. Because if they're clogged, the water's not coming out at the right pressure and the chemicals are not de being delivered uh, appropriately. And also, in addition to that, they should be checking the containers of their soap, pre-rinse, and their sanitizer chemicals to make sure that they have adequate amounts and that there's, uh, the chemicals are flowing through the lines appropriately. Okay? In addition to that, before they run the first rack of dishes, they should have the machine already warmed up and pre-run so the water is already coming out very hot. Otherwise, the first couple racks are not getting sanitized properly. So, assuming he has done all that, in a chemical machine, the final temperature should be between 125 to 140 degrees. You do not want it getting too excessively high, say above 160 degrees, because it can start uh, breaking down chemicals. So for a chlorine sanitizer, the minimum requirement is 50 parts per million. And at 50 parts per million, seven seconds of exposure time for the sanitization step, and the water temperature is between 75 to 100 degrees. As a dishwasher, they should know how to check this. And one of the easiest ways to do that is when the machine stops, as soon as it stops, you open it up, you take one of the test strip papers, put it into the water solution down there, and check it against your chart. Okay, because the last step, the water was a sanitizing step, so that's the concentration that will show. Another way you can do it is to do it with a higher concentration, 100 parts per million. It would be the same exposure time on the machine, 7 seconds. However, then we can use a lower temperature, only 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which basically means cold water. Okay? This is only for automated machine, according to the FDA. If we're using iodine, the minimum requirement is 12.5 parts per million at 30 seconds exposure. 68 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty much cold water again. And then finally, quaternary ammonium. Quaternary ammonium, please note, gets a much higher concentration, 200 parts per million. 30 seconds exposure time, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, minimum requirement. So we see that both iodine and quaternary ammonium take a little longer, which means your machine cycle per cycle will be a little longer than the chlorine type. Uh, I personally prefer the chlorine type machines, but that's just a matter of preference. The other thing about the quaternary ammonium machine is that uh, they're a little bit more affected by the hardness of the water. So depending on the region you're at, if the water has more than 500 milligrams per liter in terms of hardness, then um, quaternary ammonium would not be a good choice for your sanitization process. AAA Food Handler Training School offers programs for basic food handlers, certified professional food safety managers, convenience store food safety managers, grocery store food safety managers, as well as certified food safety HACCP managers, which prepare you to take and pass ANSI-approved exams from the National Registry of Food Safety Professionals, ServeSafe, and Prometric. By working with over 2,500 testing centers throughout the United States, we can easily schedule your exam at a date and time that is convenient to you. Also, please visit our website, www.aaafoodhandler.com, for interesting newsletters, articles, and products regarding the food service industry. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and click the like button to help us promote this knowledge. To find all of our YouTube videos, search for AAA Food Handler Training School and then click the result that has the light blue logo for AAA Food Handler Training School.
When the next screen comes up, click Videos, and then you'll see all of the videos we have available. Thank you.